Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25188. This is the build that Microsoft released on August the 24th. And in this video, we're gonna talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this new build from Microsoft. Before talking about anything, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel because it helps me out a lot. So let's begin with the video. The first change that Microsoft introduced in this build is that we have updated touch keyboard settings so if you open up the settings app and then we go to time and language and then typing and of course touch keyboard and here you should have a new drop down menu with three options to control this is unfortunately not available to all insiders but you can see in the screenshot that you have access to and you can encounter if you're lucky enough in the dev channel so basically the drop down refers to showing the touch keyboard so you have three options never when no keyboard attached and always regarding changes and improvements windows terminal is now the default terminal in Windows 11. This means all command line applications will open in Windows terminal automatically. Command prompt in PowerShell for example. The setting for this change can be found in the settings app of course, then privacy and security in the left side, and then for developers. And here you can choose the default terminal app to host command line apps, but please note that Windows terminal version 1.15 or greater is required for this feature. Again in the settings app, Microsoft also updated the Wi-Fi and VPN properties pages and settings to now include a link to advanced properties for that network. So basically, this is all there is to it in this Windows 11 Insider Preview build regarding changes and improvements, but now let's talk about some fixes. So regarding the taskbar, Microsoft fixed an issue related to the taskbar overflow, which was impacting explorer.exe reliability. Regarding the start menu, they fixed an issue that was causing starts recommended to only show one column instead of two. And they also made a fix for narrator mistakenly reading out the search box and start twice. They also fix an issue where the access keys in Win plus X had duplicate definitions when an update was pending reboot. Regarding the file explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue causing a small percentage of insiders to experience repeated explorer.exe crashes after attempting to access certain folders on their system in the last couple dev channel builds. They also fixed a recent issue where a file explorer was open when you switched between light and dark mode, you could end up with some unreadable text slash UI showing the wrong color. They also fixed an issue that was causing explorer.exe to crash when opening folders with certain images and also the up arrow in the file explorer should no longer be misaligned. This is finally fixed because this was a pretty annoying thing that was present in a few builds. They also fixed an issue which could lead to not being able to unpin desktop pictures or documents folders from quick access and they also fixed an underlying explorer.exe crash which could happen when file explorer launch was aborted. For example, if you were attempting to access a network, share from their own dialog were prompted for credentials and then clicked cancel instead of entering them. If the tab title is too long to display completely in the available space, hovering your mouse over it will now show a tooltip with the full name. They also fixed an issue which could lead to explorer.exe crashing when file explorer was closed and another one causing the delete key to unexpectedly not work on files in file explorer sometimes. And they also removed the toolbar some people were unexpectedly seeing with view, edit, etc. after the introduction of tabs in file Explorer. As part of this, the always show menu option in folder options was also removed, which didn't do anything. Regarding search, Microsoft fixed an underlying crash which could lead to search not launching, and also searching for detect displays will now return display settings. Regarding the settings app, Microsoft fixed an issue where in certain cases removing a printer from settings wouldn't work. They fixed an issue where the DNS suffix search list entry wasn't displaying correctly in settings, and also they fixed an issue where the buttons for changing current view in settings apps and installed apps might unexpectedly show arrows overlaid on top. And finally, regarding the task manager, they updated the positioning of the view button tooltip position so it shouldn't block the close button in the title bar anymore. The arrows shown when sorting processes by CPU should no longer be black on black in certain cases when using dark mode. And also update the selection highlight color when you select rows on the details or services page to be less bright and more aligned with the other colors used with the updated task manager design. And we also have a few other fixes, but I'm only going to mention one. They fixed an issue where steps recorder wouldn't close when you pressed Alt plus F4. So basically, this is the build for today from Microsoft. I think this is a pretty small one yet again, but there are rumors that Microsoft is working on implementing again the drag and drop to the taskbar and the new system trade design. So hopefully we can see that in the near future. Don't forget that you'll have more details in the article below in the description regarding the known issues and also the whole list of fixes that were applied in this build. If you enjoyed, 
enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was emmanuel from tech base until next time have a nice day